How much do you value yourself? Once upon a time, there was a man whose daughter graduated from the university. He was so proud of her that he decided to give her a gift. In his garage was an old car which had been there for several years. He gave that car to his daughter and he asked her to take it to a certain car dealer and asked him how much he would give in exchange for it. She drove to this dealer's shop and did as her father said. The dealer examined the car and said it was too old and outdated. In addition, the parts for it couldn't be found any longer. He was willing to give a thousand dollars in exchange for this car. Disappointed, she drove the car back home and told her dad what happened. Dad, he said he can give just a thousand dollars, she said. Her dad then asked her to take the car to a pawn shop nearby and asked the owner what he is willing to give for the car. She drove the car to this pawn shop and the owner told her that they don't accept cars. After close to 10 minutes of trying to convince him, she successfully got him to take a look. He did, and for similar reasons like the previous, he was willing to give $100. Still not satisfied by the offer, the girl drove the car home and told her dad what went on. Dad, can you imagine he proposed just $100? So her dad told her to take the car to one more person, a collector. She did, and when the collector laid his eyes on the car, he was marveled by what he saw. Do you have any idea what you just got here? This is amazing. It still has the original engine, chairs, and everything else. Wow, I'll give you a hundred thousand for it. The girl was amazed and immediately went back to her dad to tell him what happened. He smiled and said, This is the lesson I wanted you to learn. How much someone values you depends on who they are. In a similar manner, the value you place on someone or something depends on who you are. Do you sell yourself short? You may be worth a hundred thousand dollars. Yet someone values you at $100 and you keep trying hard to get them to see how much more valuable you are. The truth is that some people will never truly appreciate you for who you are. They just can't see your true value and it's not their fault, it's who they are. The question is, what do you do about that? Do you keep fighting hard? Likewise, do you undervalue the things in front of you? We tend to miss opportunities, friendships, relationships, and even more simply, because we don't value what's in front of us. Value is not just about money, but time and attention. You give your time and attention to what you value. You may constantly provide for your family, but if you don't spend time with them, then they won't feel valued. Friendships and relationships are built by giving time and attention. Take note that whatever you value before you need it, is what will bless you when you need it. Choose to value the relationships you have. Spend time with family, spend time with your friends, reconnect with old friends. Value them now because you will need them someday. When you stumble upon an opportunity to build a solid relationship, maximize it. Everything in life rests on good relationships. In Luke 10 verse 38 to 42, a story is told of when Jesus visited the home of two women, Martha and Mary. Martha was so occupied with joy serving Jesus while Mary sat at his feet. Who do you think maximized this moment? This was a unique opportunity to build a relationship with God himself. Mary clearly valued this opportunity and sat at his feet. They both experienced the same thing but one person valued it less. It was thanks to the relationship that Mary built with Jesus that he later came for them in their time of need and raised up their brother Lazarus from the dead. Whatever you value before you need it is what will bless you when you need it. Do you keep forcing yourself on someone who values you just at $100 when you're worth $100,000? do not sell yourself short. Do you undervalue others around you? Choose to value them by giving them your time and attention.